Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. Did you know that the fella who was on the tape that Sheila Jackson Lee was cursing out, Mr. Jerome Brooks, did you know after the tape was released, he came up dead? They rule out suicide. So I don't want to hear anything about no suicide. It's not a conspiracy. This, this, the, 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 the recording is 10 years old. He didn't come up dead until the tape was released. You don't find that just a little suspicious? And the news media not really talking about it. And when you try to get information, because they talked to his mother, he was 36, talked to his mother, and his mother says that something about him went to the hospital he didn't feel well. He thought he was having a mini stroke. Maybe they poisoned him. But they're ruling, they're ruling out suicide. So it's not a Jeffrey Epstein deal because we know Jeffrey Epstein killed himself, right? Now, you do remember that Hillary Clinton came to town and endorsed Sheila Jackson Lee. Who's known for taking out people better than the Hilda B. herself? She came through and endorsed Sheila Jackson Lee. Tape got dropped, fell a day. All new this afternoon, while in Houston, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton threw her support behind Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee in her run for mayor. And we have a transparent government. I talked about transparency, but I'm a supporter of transparency. I've already said transparency. They will not regret their vote because they will have a mayor who will work 24-7 to do what she has said she will do. And there was a bit of a commotion during the endorsement today when a protester disrupted Clinton's speech. That person had to be escorted out. What is most important for our fellow Houstonians is transparency. It's a coincidence, not whatsoever. Now, you remember what she said about Jerome, and the mama says, Jerome's mother says she never met Sheila Jackson Lee. But if she's talking to people like this, maybe she shouldn't be in politics. She's been known as the, the meanest woman in Congress, and it's for a reason. She's nasty. Uh, you took a piece of paper from that woman uh, regarding uh, something that was over at Duncan Tell. Where is it? What, what page was it? All from Jeff. Jerome took it upstairs. I have to call him. He took it up when I switched out the picture. I'll call him. I don't want you to do a goddamn thing. I want you to have a fucking brain. I want you to have read it. I want you to say, Congresswoman, it was such and such state. That's what I want. That's the kind of stamp that I want to have. So some stupid other motherfucker did it. You, and, and I don't have the information. Nobody sent me the information. I need to uh, ensure my uh, schedule. And, uh, you know, if, if Google did it, shit ass did it, fuckface did it, and nobody knows a goddamn thing in my office. She says, this is what she said about Jerome. Remember, she was cussing her. She says, so when I call Jerome, he's going to be sitting up there like a fat-ass, stupid idiot talking about what the fuck he doesn't know. That's what she said. Then she says, I need my schedule. Remember, she said, I need my schedule. And, you know, if uh, uh, if Boo-Boo did it, if, if shit-ass did it, if fuckface did it, and nobody knows a goddamn thing in my office, but all y'all... Oh, fuck up. This is what she said. It's the worst shit that I ever could have put together. Okay, nothing. I gave it to you. Your job was to get it on the calendar, imprint it in your brain, or send me the information back saying, Congresswoman, I made sure that the Ovid Duncan Tell event that you gave me uh, for a so-and-so date at 7 is on the fucking calendar. Not to quote Jerome Hansen. Okay? So when I called Jerome, he only me sitting up there like a fat ass stupid idiot talking about uh, what the fuck he doesn't know. Okay? Both of y'all are fuck up a fucking app. It's the worst shit that I could have ever had put together. Two goddamn big ass children. Fucking idiots. Serve no goddamn purpose. Ain't managing nobody. Nobody's respecting them. Nobody gives a shit about what you're doing. And you ain't doing shit. And this is an example of it. I gave it to Jerome. This is not child work. Okay? Two goddamn big ass children, fucking idiots, serve no goddamn purpose. That's her words. I'm just quoting. I'm quoting the poet, Sheila Mustard Jackson. 
that's how she talks to her staff. But don't you find it just a little suspicious? As soon as this 10-year-old tape is released right before the election, he ain't been having no problems. Nobody tried to kill him. See, what you have to do, this is what I found now. People don't, who don't get killed uh, by these people is the people who come on out and expose it and talk. Larry Sinclair is still alive because he brought out a book and he came out and talked about it. All these people that the Clintons knew was trying to keep their secrets, bam, they commit, quote, suicide. I know it's a coincidence that 50 or 60 people that you know who had dirt on you commit suicide. Sounds very believable. But this young man, after she's berated him, now the cops are saying it's not a suicide. So therefore, somebody killed him. Now, we don't know. They may come back later on and try to cover it up. Kind of like they said about Barack Obama's chef who drowned in a pond when he can swim like a fish. Do you really believe that? Jeffrey Epstein happens to hang himself because the camera stopped working. The guards stopped going in there. They took his cellmate out, and he just had the perfect stone. Sounds believable to me. All these people who was testifying on new dirt on the Clems just came up dead. And it's a, it's a coincidence. Now, people keep calling us conspiracy theorists. Seems like they are conspiracy theorists because they're not looking at the facts. Facts says that Jerome Brooks wasn't having any problems until that tape got released. Now, he may have been holding his insurance. Mom says she heard the tape before, but she didn't realize it got released. Just so happened that the congresswoman, Sheila Jackson Lee, lost the race, right? But he was dead like a week after the tape was released. So therefore, you don't find it just a little suspicious that Mrs. Uh, Miss Mrs. Shakespeare says, I don't care if boo-boo did it. I don't care if shit-ass did it. Fuck face did it. This is how she talked to her staff. You think she cares about it if they live or die? But what gets me is the silence of the media. Why isn't everybody not talking about the staff person who she was referring to in the recorded conversation? That person comes up dead, and you don't think it's a little suspicious that the media is trying to be quiet. What are you quiet about? He didn't commit suicide, as some people tried to suggest at first. Suicide has been ruled out. The police says they can't comment on an ongoing investigation. So they're still investigating, so it's not suicide. He's 36 years of age. And Sheila Jackson Lee was running for mayor. Tape gets released. She gets slaughtered. Now, I don't know if the tape had anything to do with it. Probably did. About five or so points may have swayed it. But nobody's buying Sheila Jackson at this point. I'm just shocked that the media is not covering this. Of course, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really shocked. Because I expect it not to be covered because they want to cover up uh, for Sheila Jackson calling people f ups says the worst shit I ever could have put together two goddamn big ass children fucking idiots have no goddamn purpose. How would you like to get talked to like that? If she'll talk to him like that, maybe her and Hillary got together and says this fella got to go. Now what's the other fella she was referring to? Because Jerome was behind the scene. And the other fella said he gave uh, the information to Jerome. But she didn't want Jerome to have it because she says, when I call Jerome, he's going to be sitting up there like a fat-ass, stupid idiot talking about what the fuck he doesn't know. That's what she said. That's how she's talking about Jerome. You're not going to call and give your condolences to the family, Sheila Jackson? This is, this is scandalous, if you ask me. Jerome Brooks is dead. Take get released uh, about the uh, but by the candidate who loses the race, but he comes up dead even long before the race even came about. What do you suppose is the the cause of him dying? We don't know. They're running an autopsy, but we do know that Jerome Brooks had to take because his mama heard it. Had to take this is before he went public. Had to take. For 10 years ago, been holding on to that thing as life 
insurance or something, but he's dead now. And uh, I just find it highly suspicious that he died right after the particular audio was released. Sure as a coincidence, it ain't that many damn coincidence in the whole freaking world. Not buying that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I smell dead fish or something. Somebody got some explaining to do.